How are we doing, guys? Good. How are you? Steady away. Sorry, I forgot to switch on my camera, actually. Then we feel like doing notes. Every meeting you come come to this meeting and you it, it's only a guess about how many artists there will be because many people are using artists account. It's like three artists or two artists or one. <laughs> and rarely there is an original one. Um yeah, it's because artists account's got all the, the recordings. Right, right. So, so we're using that one. How's everybody's day been? Anything interesting? Um, I'll cover uh, communications and human resources. There's not much to say. Um, Ogali's getting in touch with communications company. It's, I can't pronounce it. Belgian company. She's emailing them with some of our requests and our requirements. Um, Bianca's first version of the skills matrix from our original skills list has been started to be visualized. So she's going to be building and then running it against the skills list we've got. And then we'll move on to Maya and Isaac from Task Risk and Bill, just to see where, they've, where they're up with. So Maya or Isaac? Either one of you. Fight into the death for me. I'm not bothered. You're kind of both. You're both under risk, but oh no, Isaac's not risk. I, 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 I is risk. Maya, go for it. Task risk. How's what's going on? Oh, we are kind of good. Um, there are no much um, update at the moment, except that I asked uh, 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 Yasan uh, to help me to implement collab that Slava developed. So I really hope that we will start uh, keeping our notebooks in there. And uh, for task risk, uh, that's basically it. As a general uh, news in Israel, uh, the government decided that it's a good idea uh, to stop uh, kind of quarantine. They opened the country, and we have the second wave. So, <laughs> uh, well, I, I, that's not an, that's not a laugh uh, because it's really bad. But it's just a laugh at like governments thinking that there's going to be no second wave, and there is. My Ridiculous. country's about to do it. My country's about to do it too. It's just really annoying to watch them go. Oh well, we'll just open it up, and it'll be all fine. It's like that's not how. Like well, the question no, is. What is the right way forward, right? We, we need to reopen anyway, right? We just need to put some guidelines in, in place, I guess. I guess I there is no alternative. <laughs> no idea uh, what is the right way, but uh, I'm sick, for example. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and... That's very like... sad to hear that. But what it's country are you in, Maya? Israel. Israel, Israel. okay. Right. Yeah, keep us updated on that if you need some time off or if you need you know someone to support your team well if you get let's just hope you don't get ill enough for that but keep safe keep on i was so optimistic and now i kind of realize the real picture 
So guys, I think our community will be very valuable for a long time ahead. And I'm not sure if these are good or bad news. <laughs> That's it for me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Israel opening up. Um, Isaac, you're running on Team Patient Forecasting. What we got yeah. going on there? Sure. Um, so right now, uh, we did get the kind of several new machine learning people. So I've been working on onboarding them, uh, which is good. We still kind of face some issues with the data infrastructure because we need to get we need to get the data that joined together geography data, um, et cetera, et cetera, from team. Well, either we need to do it ourselves or get it from team geo, but it isn't really clear what the best path forward is that. So um, that's something we're looking at. Um, besides that, uh, it's going good. As I said, we submitted the abstract every day for our baseline models. So hopefully that gets accepted. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the update from our side. So uh, did you have a look at any of them links I'd give you yesterday? Um, which links were those? They were in the document. I put them into your your box, the document yesterday. Um, um I haven't had a chance yet. That that's in the Google Doc or yeah, and yesterday, basically in yesterday's document under the uh, patient forecasting, there's the French death data, the NHS GP data system links. We can hopefully reach to them. Um, articles on Scottish data, and there was a few other projects going on. Yeah, so there might be some data sets there because they're also, um, ODI Leeds is trying to facilitate data set retrieval and management. So they're actually starting to build like a whole list of data sets obviously okay. it's mostly british based right now but there, but there's a lot like say there's french and there's there's a number of other european countries in that data set too um so it might be a place to be able to pull from and and keep an eye on for new data sets being added into it okay yeah that would definitely be good i mean it's a, it's yeah a i guess that's of kind of some of our problem too is there's a bunch of data sets in different sources but um, that we could integrate, but there's no kind of central way to do that. And it's not clear if, I mean, I'm, I guess from our view, our team should be primarily focused on the modeling part. So ideally other teams like Geo would supply us with the data. So I'm mm -hmm. not clear if we should start investing in our own data infrastructure, or we should try to rely on these other teams, I guess. Going yeah, forward. I'm not, I'm not so, really sure how we're going to integrate this sort of data in. I mean, um, so let, let me just chip in here real quick so we have common data infrastructure so data says that coronavirus.org has a hosted dataverse this is essentially a data lake solution so you can put all of the data there and this should be the point especially for teams like isaac's one which are again it's it's a modeling team right so it's a bunch of data scientists that shouldn't bother of like figuring out where the data is coming from it just simply data set that that org slash something right and then you know you, you pull the data from there and start kind of crunching numbers so for your point isaac regarding communicating with test geo team uh let me pull up what uh, test geo team already put on on our dataverse uh if so do you know if the like the data they already have the data you're looking for or... So, I mean, uh, I they have some of it. Um, mm -hmm. Another issue was like doing, not just having the data, but doing like all the joins on the data and that like data staying kind of up to date. For instance, like obviously as new new data flows in, we'd want to have the mm -hmm. updated stuff to run into our models. So at present, I did talk with the task geo lead. They, they said they don't have like any continuous pipeline or anything set up. Um, yet, right, the, the yeah, key yeah. point here. Yes, yeah, it's, okay. well, it's, it's basically anyone who's dealing with data's problem right now is keeping it up to date and 
processing mm -hmm. it at the speed it's been generated and having access to every single thread that exists out there, which is just no one's at that point. No one's that so, joined up yet. Yeah. So again, I, I wouldn't formulate it as a problem that we have like infrastructure problem because infrastructure we have there. We have a problem of uh, kind of having people setting up all of this continuous pipelines of, of data streams. Um, and again, to solve this, it's a good question, like how to like distinguish the scopes. So who, who should do it? Like uh, team, uh, like forecasting, time series forecasting, or TASGEO, if we're talking about GEO data, right? So uh, yeah. again, it's, it's a really good point, Isaac. So we will kind of start looking into this. But so uh, what will be great to get from your team is essentially like a kind of list of sources that, or like type of data you're looking for. Right, so it will be like kind of defined because no matter how we will like solve it, so like find a solution for this, this problem, we will have the document that describes the data, the data streams, et cetera, right? So no matter who will execute it, either within time series team or geo team, there'll be the document. So it's a great idea to start from that and just to have like, okay, this is the, the, the data list we are looking for. And then we'll figure out like how to to scope that work. Does it make sense? Yep, yep, that makes sense. So l let's start from there because again, I know with test gear like the the keep like manual is still. I hope he already recovered from his sickness, um, but I know that he's busy with with work recently as well. So we will need to figure out what to do with with the old team. To, to kind of push them in this collaboration direction. Um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's basically it's going to be a it's a, it's a it's a current problem that is not going to be an easy fix, and we'll have to work. On. Yeah, you, you. Yeah. Teams are going to have to work together to try and work out the best way to solve them. And yeah. Who's oh, going and to then be, that, going to be it. And uh, another thing regarding infrastructure, Isaac, if you have suggestions, what type of let's say Dataverse is not very suitable for the data you're looking to process, right? Also, again, to just let us know what type of a solution uh, you are kind of considering, and then we'll set up, let's say, if you need MongoDB or something, for example. Okay, there is, we already have MongoDB cluster, by the way, but if it's something like, like a specific database that you are interested in, in using, uh, we can again set that up. Set to okay. so again keep that in mind. Yep. Um, we'll move on to Dan's uh, VT team. See what he's got to say. Hey guys, uh, just really a couple updates. Um, majorly is that uh, we're working on that proposal for getting the Twitter stream thing. So Slava gave me some good comments yesterday. Uh, I'm going to revise and have another draft for Slava and Anton to hopefully look at with regards to, because we need to have like a solid plan for data infrastructure and what are we doing with the tweets and things like that. So uh, I'm just going to work on that mostly. So uh, that's your, so your request for data, your request for Twitter data is ongoing to write the um, request for it okay <laughs> this is yeah this is just like we have to submit a proposal with like our project plan to twitter about how we're going to use their like nice streaming endpoint which doesn't have rate limits um and so i'm just trying to make sure that we we put together like a solid high quality uh proposal so uh i only like skim through the document before yeah uh but then I, I kind of like saw discussion. Was it that where like we need like ridiculous almost petabyte storage to to store the tweets or something? No, or... not even necessarily that. I mean, I kind of just yeah, no, not necessarily. I mean, uh -huh. I'm not sure of like the number and volume of tweets that we're gonna have to store. I mean, ideally we're just gonna query like, let's say I want all the <laughs> tweets about um, any drug related paper in CORD 19. So I don't know, mm -hmm. I'm not sure the scale of that, but like 
for one, we'll need to at least analyze those tweets in some way. And then I was wondering about like, because they ask, how are you going to store this? Like, do you have a way to store and process this? Mm -hmm. And so that's why we have to like think about that. And I don't think I have the answers to those questions. So that's why I'm asking yeah. you. So I know one of the questions was like somebody who had the experience problem? working with Twitter API. Do we have that person? Because I think this would where we need to nail this down. Like somebody who knows what they're doing and then they will tell us like what the requirements for, for the storage. And then we kind of like, okay, we were ready because we have like AWS, for example, for that. Yeah, you know? so yeah, yeah. So there's this guy, Raghav, on my team who is kind of the one who brought this mm -hmm. to my attention and is interested in like submitting this proposal. So let me chat uh -huh. with him and, or let, let me ping him on that channel and then we'll ask him if he has a better sense of like what we would need as far as. Yeah. So like we essentially we need input from him. Yeah, right? yeah. Just kind of like what is needed because otherwise we'll like, I mean, I can Google what is needed, but you know, it's uh, we could we could easily bite off more than we could chew accidentally just by not knowing how big the yeah. bite could be. What 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 I know regarding like Twitter data, um, there is like this. They don't call it MapD anymore, but there are like some really interesting backends, like GPU back databases. It's a SQL database, but it's accelerated with GPU. And it's like ridiculously good at processing Twitter data. At least their demos, like initial demo was just like tweets in real time. You can scale on the map and see everything in like super fast and super fluid. So I'm, I'm actually interested to do something like, like, like set up something like this would be super cool. Uh, but then again, it will like, and it depends on the use case. Do we need that uh, yeah. or not? Uh, but yeah, let's definitely push that through because it it will give us some uh, interesting bragging rights, right? For Corona, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah, I think we're this, processing. And I think even for the things like the discovery engine, like people are talking about, oh, what's the quality of the paper? And and one way that you can mm -hmm. kind of assess that is through like academic Twitter discourse. And so yeah. this is something oh, that a lot of people are interested in, anyways. Okay. Have you heard that we already have Altmetric for our papers? Yeah. Have you heard yeah, about Altmetric? Yeah, yeah. Altmetric doesn't really give you that much, though. It gives you like a basic indication of like Twitter activity, mm -hmm. but like as far as polarity detection and like really anything sophisticated with those tweets, like it's not doing any of that. Uh, okay. Polarity, you mean like, uh, like Pos is it positive good? or negative? We... Positive statements, uh -huh. negative statements, yeah. Okay. Yeah, people are like, this paper is full of flaws and it has all these biases mm -hmm. and we want to be able to detect that like people are saying. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. I, I like I like it more. That's the thing, like, I like. I mean, I like that Altmetric gave us API access and gave us some number, but the number is as good as, you know, if you know what was done to it. And since we don't know what how it was constructed, yeah, it's then one of the questions of all is so. is is all it takes is like something going viral. <laughs> right. But, it's not, but but not for a good reason. It could be being used by fake news and all sorts of random things to say one thing which is completely not true in the statement, but it could be talked yeah. about a lot and it don't mean well, it, but, it don't but mean I mean, it's like, valuable. I think Altmetric they're doing the right thing, right? They actually set up that process already regarding like so they're only I think they're only can considering like academic tweet accounts. So if you know, if you know, some head of state will post about it, something it not necessarily will, you know, change that metric. So yeah, like validated so, set of accounts, etc. So, but anyways, yeah, yeah. I, th I think the, yes. I think the final pipeline uses a bit of both things like I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so l let's okay, get yeah. that, guy, that guy going let let him kind of specify like what from his knowledge what is needed and then we'll add some details how exactly we will execute that home and now we have a solid application yeah cool. um uh anton kevin have you got anything to bring anything you feel like you need to say any questions so any requests just quick, quick update regarding like again uh, data set so uh we're still computing our old pipeline for Core 19 virtual 12. This was before all of this breaking changes. Uh, eventually, we will have that, and you know, for our archive purposes. But we already shifted our focus to a new, new generation of Core 19 after those like breaking changes. 
Uh, so version 19, we kind of freeze as a stable at this point. And uh, now we're doing our like purchasing pipeline. Uh, so we're doing like two things. First of all, we go in through our previous stage of, you know, like golf boy style of doing things. Now we kind of package everything into Docker, et cetera, et cetera, for pre-processing purposes. And uh, again, so V19 will be our stable version for now. Hopefully the next in updates for Core 19 will be incremental. We've and got, we'll um, be able to accommodate them quickly. But I've got an, an idea when... I've got an idea when um, version 19 is going to be live for usability. Uh, it's a good question because right now, again, we're essentially redoing the pipeline from scratch. So right now the focus, I mean, like in terms of availability, the goal is just to, to get the V12 uh, out there. Estimate. Because it is. For that, it, uh, yeah, well, so yesterday it was 40 hours of computation time left. I for version 12. Was slow. Yes. So 40 hours uh, of computation for version 12. So in talking in the next three days then, roughly. Well, probably like on the tomorrow we should, should get it. So over the weekend, right? And okay. now for, for, for this V19 stuff, uh, since um, like we're essentially doing like the new pipelines kind of from, not from scratch, like, but it's like white blank state. And now we're just reusing, utilizing what was done before previously by Brandon but you know, packaging it into a more maintainable format. And now it will, you know, after that, like after that work is done, all of everything should be like very, very quick. Because it's, yeah, it's incremental about building, it's exactly, it's about building the pipeline that can be added yes. to incrementally easily rather than having to do the whole cycle in, yes. in like manually. We're trying to automate yeah. That's great. Um, Kevin, have you got anything to bring? Is there anything you feel I need to say? Give an opportunity. Uh, Nothing on my side. I'm just working on. Uh, I'm just re having some more time to work on uh, the engrams. I think I might have found a data set for uh, patient forecasting. It's a Brazilian data set for clinical findings that they that has. I think all the, that uh, Isaac needs or wants from a data set, um, but is in Brazil, so the, that part might be a little iffy. But overall, it's, it is pretty um, comprehensive in its um, uh, features. So um, it might be a good source for uh, forecasting to use. What well, is like a, a model to build on that then hopefully no, could be scaled up? Like one, one thing we're missing is like this clinical data. Um, well, Scotland's clinical data is open. That's his data set. It's literally, it's the, it's the amount of people who are, there's like, there's so many layers to that information. It's quite, it's quite impressive and it's updated every single day. No. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted, it's one of the reasons, and it's lively updated to the same place. So it could be pulled from there every day okay, live. So it's one of the things that I thought might be really interesting for whoever's got interest in it. It's the only problem is it's not the same kind of data as the, the it's not the same kind of data as all the research papers that we're dealing with. So. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's just more data that we could potentially use if we needed and probably feel any data yeah, good. Um, so, yeah, okay. that's not too much. No problem. Then. I just thought I'd give you a chance to talk. Um, Mr. Zotov, the other Anton, I don't know which way around it could define hey. that one. Have, I'm here. Have you got anything to say? Anything to add? No, not too much. I've been out for a few days. I'm, I'm getting back now, and I'll take a couple of days to just get back to, to you know, to get updated. And then, uh, hopefully. No problem. I just thought, you know, give a chance. Um, we Thank obviously, you. very few people around. We need to try and get this document updated. So I'll I'll shop around and see if we can get it filled in for today. Um, and that's that's the thing that's done. Thank you very much for you coming out, guys. Uh, see you all tomorrow if if you're about. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.